Hey guys, Swoosh here. So in today's video we'll be taking a look at the Lifex Bing. This video will consist of unboxing the product, a brief setup and then my overall impressions. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So starting off with the packaging, like any of the Lifex products, the packaging is very premium and gives you a great first impression, which is always welcome. So on this side we see it's compatible with most smart devices such as Siri, Google Home and Amazon products. And then on this side is a breakdown of what to expect in the box. And then finally on the back is a brief introduction to the Lifex app and also a few ideas on where to put the beam, i.e. around a door frame, a window and so on. Now opening the box we are greeted with a great example of what the beam can look like. It's very minimal and it's exactly what I was looking for. Under the plastic film we have a view of all six panels which are really well made in my opinion. The beams are quite light and have this frosted look to them. So on one side is a female free pin and then on the other side is a male free pin. And then finally on the back is the 3M velcro attachments so there's no need to make holes in a wall which is nice. Overall I'm impressed with the design and I love how minimal they look. So connecting these together couldn't be any easier. Simply attach one side of the beam female to another side of the beam male and it's done. And the great thing is these beams are magnetic so it locks in place as you can see which makes it dummy proof as they can only be put together one way. Now after removing all six beams we have a quick setup guide which is a rundown of layout ideas, how to prepare and stick and then how to illuminate the product. It's literally all you need to get set up but it also comes with a more in depth guide as shown but I won't bore you with all the specifics but it's definitely worth a read. So the power plug has changeable heads which is a nice feature so there's no need to worry about buying more adapters. Also for the power comes this LED controller which is ready for mounting as it has 3M tape already applied. So on one side of the controller is the part that connects to the beam which is also magnetic. So again, simply put the connector to the male end of a beam and you are all set which is such a cool design. And then this part just goes into the plug itself. Now I really like this illuminated cube, it has three directions in which you want to run your beams. You can also add an additional cube for even more customization, but you do have to buy that separately. As you can see it's super simple to set up, I was quite impressed how strong the magnets actually were once a few beams have been put together as you can see. And then finally the four plug adapters for whatever country you use, which is a decent touch. So now we are all unboxed and ready I will show you how to install a beam. It's fairly straightforward and you shouldn't encounter any problems. So for this video's sake I left one velcro piece on the wall and the other on the beam. Simply remove the film on the back and connect the beam like so. Just apply a small amount of pressure, not too much though and hold for a few seconds to make sure it's firmly on. So once every panel is up and you are happy with your alignment then I would suggest running a spirit level over each panel just to make sure it's level. I personally did this as I went along, so it's entirely up to you. And then last but not least, attach the power connector like so, and it's good to go. Now it's time to download the app, connect your device, and power the beam on like so. Now on the app's interface, if you click on the beam, it opens up this colour wheel with literally millions of colours to choose from. And you can also control its brightness and shade. Honestly, the choice is incredible and you'll spend hours playing with it. Moving on from the colours, you can just simply have white if you like. We have a nice amount of whites to choose from like daylight and warm tones, which is nice in the evening or when you're watching a film. So if you really want to show this light off, then it has a few preset themes which blend certain colours together and is really well done. In person these look amazing and really show off its capability as you can see. My personal favourite has to be Independence Day. So now the palette tab is where you choose individual colours and you have the option to either fill the whole beam any colour of your choice or paint any part of the beam that you want. As you can see, I'm painting in the colours wherever I want which is something I've never seen before on a light. 
Oh, and before I forget, you can also animate the beam and you can have strobe like effects giving you plenty of options to choose from, so you're never going to get bored. So that concludes the video guys. Now my overall impressions are that this beam is amazing. It's minimal design, simple setup and vibrant display, adding its fantastic user friendly app make this a must buy for any desk setup. Thank you so much for watching guys, and if you enjoyed the video, drop this a like, and if you want more tech videos from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all soon.